in the last in the last couple of weeks, uh, I guess a couple of weeks, there have been two uh, splashes of publicity that have involved Silicon Valley and the, the, one of them Liberty Valley. One is a an article in the Chicago Tribune, which had the marvelous headline, "No Teacher." <laughs> <laughs> A woman who, who happened to be the mother of the city editor of the Middlesex News, which is the regional newspaper in our part of the country, lives in Chicago, saw this article, saw that it referred to Sudbury Valley, sent it to her son and said, why don't you do an article about, about them out there? Well, of course, Middlesex News has done many articles about us, but he had to satisfy his mom, so he sent out a report and decided to do a big front page spread on us. And his headline was, Sudbury Valley School with No Rules. <laughs> so, boom. We're now a school with no teachers and with no rules, and I'm expecting the next one to say Sudbury Valley School with No Students or something. <laughs> but it, what, it, what, this, what these incidents uh, brought back and brought home again and again and again were the, uh, were, was were the difficulty of getting it, of getting the concept. Uh, and, and it's something that's bothered us and, and has been puzzling us, really, from the very beginning. Because, as you'll see, and as the evening develops, the, the central concept of the, whole, of the Sudbury Valley School idea is the essence of simplicity. And in fact, people who do get it, and I hope everybody here either has or will, realize this very quickly. I mean, it's so simple. It's so simple, and most things that make sense are simple. And yet, it's very, very difficult for simple ideas to catch on. And I think that's a historical fact that is puzzling and paradoxical, but nevertheless true. I mean, if you look in the grand scheme of history, and I'm not necessarily comparing us to the examples that I might mention, if you look at the grand scheme of history, really simple ideas that have revolutionized the world, like monotheism, right? But that, that, that is essentially a simple idea. Whether you're religious or atheist doesn't make any difference. You know historically in the history of theology that the idea that there is one supreme ruler of the universe is in its essence much simpler than the pagan models that went before it, which involved not only a multiplicity of deities, but a multiplicity of conflicting areas of interest and an and, and overarching, uh, completely unpredictable uh, role of fate and so forth and so on. It's a really difficult system. And along comes monotheism, which made life so much simpler, and which, in fact, ultimately displaced paganism, but it was so hard to displace. And even to this day, so many areas of the world have a combination of the two. You know, people who are monotheists, but who have just a little bit of paganism on the side, just in case. It's hard, it's hard to go for a simple truth.